Welcome to my channel. I hope you like and subscribe and thanks so much for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful little jumper sweater with matching diaper cover for babies between zero and three months. You can also make it smaller or bigger from a newborn size and up to 12 months. In the information box below, I'll go ahead and leave you some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger. Also in the information box, I'll go ahead and leave you links to the matching baby booties, the matching little pants, and a matching little bonnet so that you can complete this beautiful little set. Now, as always, if you prefer a written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box below. Thank you so much for your support. Now, let's get started. Don't forget to subscribe, activate the notifications bell to all notifications so that YouTube can recommend my videos. And if you like this tutorial, please hit that like button. Thanks so much for your support. Okay, to begin, I'll be using this three millimeter crochet hook, and today I'm using this DK weight yarn. I'm using James C. Brett Super Soft Baby Double Knit Yarn. You can also use number three or a ply. Now we're going to start with a little jumper first, and for that you're going to need about 103 grams of yarn, and then we're going to make the matching diaper cover. For the diaper cover, you're going to need about 50 grams of yarn. To begin, I have 49 chains, the multiple to our base chain is multiples of four plus one. Now, this chain here is measuring about nine inches, which is about 23 centimeters. Now, to begin on the third chain from the hook, one, two, three, we're going to make a half double crochet. To make a half double crochet, you yarn over, insert your hook into that third chain, grab a loop, three loops on the hook, close. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain, grab a loop, three loops on the hook, close. Again, yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain, grab a loop, three loops on the hook, close. This is all I'm going to do for this first row. At the end of this first row, I'm going to have 48 half double crochets, including the two chains here at the end. Continue, and I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this first row. I have 48 half double crochets. Now for the second row, chain two and turn. The two chains never count as a stitch. In this row, we're going to make three double crochets and into the next two double crochets. So let me show you. Beginning on top of the first half double crochet, make a double crochet. That's one, two, three, and into the next two double crochets, one and two. This is how you're going to continue for this second row. You're going to make three double crochets and into the next two. Then again, three double crochets and into the next two. Continue like this for the second row and I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this second row. I have a total of 59 double crochets. Here at the end, I finish with four double crochets. My last double crochet, I made it here into the chain two space. So I have 59 double crochets, not including the two chains at the beginning. Now for the third row, we're going to chain two and turn. These two chains never count as a stitch. Now in this row, we're going to make four double crochets. One, two, three, four, and into the next two double crochets. So let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet. That's one, two, three, four, and into the next two double crochets. This is how you're going to continue for this third row. You're going to make four double crochets, one, two, three, four, and into the next two double crochets. Continue like this, and I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this third row. I have a total of 70 double crochets. Here at the end, I finish with four double crochets. Now for the fourth row, chain two and turn. The two chains never count as a stitch. In this row, we're going to make five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and into the next two double crochets. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five double crochets, and into the next two double crochets. This is how you're going to continue. For this fourth row, you're going to repeat five double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, and into the next two double crochets. At the end of this fourth row, you're going to have 81 double crochets. 
continue on omichu here at the end i'm here at the end of the fourth row i have a total of 81 double crochets now for the fifth row chain two and turn in this row we're going to make six double crochets one two three four five six and into the next two double crochets let me show you beginning on top of the first double crochet make your first double crochet that's one two three four five six and into the next two double crochets one and two this is how you're going to continue you're going to repeat six double crochets and into the next two double crochets at the end of this fifth row you're going to have 92 double crochets i'll meet you here at the end i'm here at the end of this fifth row i have a total of 92 double crochets now for the sixth row chain three and turn now in this row we're going to make v stitches we're going to count one two and into the third double crochet make your first v stitch double crochet two chains double crochet again skip one two and into the third make another v stitch double crochet two chains double crochet this is how we're going to continue for this sixth row i'll meet you here at the end okay i'm here at the end of this sixth row i have a total of 30 v stitches to finish this row i did one last double crochet here at the end now for the seventh row chain three and turn in this row we're going to make v-stitches again so inside each one of the v-stitches you're going to make a v-stitch so double crochet two chains double crochet continue like this for this seventh row at the end you're going to have again 30 v-stitches i'll meet you at the end of this row i'm here at the end of this seventh row i have a total of 30 v-stitches here at the end i finish by making a double crochet now for the eighth row we're going to chain three and turn inside each one of these v-stitches we're going to make two double crochets chain one two double crochets so let me show you beginning into this first one make two double crochets chain one two double crochets jump to the next one and do the same thing two double crochets chain one two double crochets continue like this for this eighth row and i'll meet you at the end i'm here at the end of this eighth row i have a total of 30 fans here at the end i finish by making a double crochet now for the ninth row chain one and turn on top of this first double crochet make a single crochet chain two single crochet inside this chain one space three chains single crochet again two chains single crochet between the two fans and then again repeat the same thing two chains single crochet inside the chain one space three chains single crochet again two chains single crochet between the two fans this is how I'm going to continue for this ninth row. I'll meet you at the end. I finished this ninth row here at the end. I did my last two chains and then I did a single crochet here uh, where we have these um, three chains at the end. Now I cut my yarn and pass my yarn through this last loop. Now we're going to turn this like this. From here on, this is going to be the right side. If you notice, there's a line here that was left from when we did the half double crochet. So this is going to be the right side. So here, into this last single crochet that I did to the side right there insert your hook I'm going to use this same brand yarn in this white color so I'm just going to pull this loop here and chain one now we're going to make v-stitches and the v-stitches we're going to make them here in the same row where we did this second row of v-stitches so we're going to push these double crochets to the side and right in the middle right here of this v-stitch hold it like this so that in this space right here you're going to make a double crochet make sure that these loops are nice and long chain three and again a double crochet we're going to make these v-stitches now to make the next one same thing push these double crochets to the side and right into this space here make your next v stitch double crochet three chains 
double crochet. Okay, this is all we're going to do. So continue like this and I'll meet you here at this end. I'm here at the end of this 10th row. This is where we did these V stitches. Now here to finish, we're going to go on top of this first single crochet right there and make a single crochet. Now we're going to turn like this. We're going to chain two, one, two, and we're going to insert our hook inside this chain three space and through the back right here where we have the three chains of this first v-stitch and make a single crochet three chains single crochet again two chains single crochet between the two v-stitches in the back two chains single crochet inside this chain three space and through the back three chains single crochet again two chains single crochet between the two v-stitches in the back this is how we're going to continue this is how it's going to look on the wrong side on the right side this is how it's going to look so continue and i'll meet you at the end of this row I'm here at the end of this 11th row. Here at the end, I did my last two chains, then I just did a single crochet here at the end. I cut my yarn and passed my yarn through this last loop, and this last row, row 11, is done. Now, this is the right side. This is what it looks like. So we're going to go here to the wrong side, and we're going to go here to this row, here on this side, like this. This row of V-stitches, which is the first row of V-stitches, we're going to insert our hook right here through this space right there and we're going to grab this loop bring it through the front and chain three one two three now these three chains counts as one double crochet inside each one of these v stitches like right here inside each one of them we're going to make four double crochet so hold fold this like this and inside the first v stitch move these double crochets to one side like this and right in the middle make four double crochets one two three four jump to the next one and do the same thing four double crochets one two three four this is all I'm going to do for this first row since we're going to start counting rows here. So continue and I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this first row. Here at the end, I just finished with one last double crochet into this last space. Now cu I cut my yarn and passed my yarn through this last loop and you should have a total of 122 double crochets, including this last double crochet that I just did and the three chains here at the beginning. Now for the second row, I'm going to use this pink color from here on. So I'm going to insert my hook on top of this last double crochet, grab this loop and chain three. These three chains counts as your first double crochet. Now turn, and for this second row, what we're going to do is one double crochet for each one of the double crochets. So into the next, make your next double crochet and so on. Here in the second row, we're going to finish with 122 double crochets. Continue and I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this second row. I have a total of 122 double crochets, including the three chains at the beginning. Now for the third row, we're going to chain three and turn. In this row, what we're going to do is we're going to work fans. The fans are going to be made with two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. So beginning into the third double crochet, one, two, three, I'm going to make my first fan. So make two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Again, skip one, two, and into the third double crochet, make another fan. This is how we're going to continue for this third row. So continue and I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, finished making this third row. I have a total of 40 fans. Now here at the end, I did one last double crochet on top of the three chains. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work single crochets along this side. So we're going to chain one. Now into this double crochet space, we're going to make two single crochets. 
then we have this single crochet at the end of this row where we have these fans so insert your hook there and then I'm going to also insert the hook here between the three chains and the double crochet right there into that center because this stitch here is a bit longer it doesn't quite fall under the two chains or the three chains but right about here so insert your hook and make one single crochet there now into this double crochet here and the three chains in the back do two single crochets one and two and then here again two and then two here let's see how many single crochets I have I have two three four five six seven eight nine and then here I'm going to make one that's ten then two, 11, 12, and then one, 13, and then 14, 15. And this row, half double crochets, that's 16. And then in the row of chains, one single crochet, so that's 17. So I have 17 single crochets along this part here. Now we're going to chain one, turn, and then work our way down making single crochets, and we're going to do 17. So continue, and I'll meet you right about here. I'm here at the end of the second row. I have 17 single crochets. Now chain one and turn. Now in this third row, I'm going to work two buttonholes. I'm going to add one right about here, and then one here at the top. So here, beginning on top of the first single crochet, make a single crochet, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven single crochets, chain one, skip one single crochet, and into the next make a single crochet. Here's the first buttonhole. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven single crochets, chain one, skip one single crochet, and into the last single crochet, make a single crochet. Now, for the fourth row, chain one, turn, and we're going to work our way down, working single crochet, so beginning on top of the first, make a single crochet, inside the chain one space, make a single crochet, and so on. Continue and work these 17, 17 single crochets, and I'll meet you here at the end. Okay, I finished this fourth row here. All I did was just cut my yarn and pass my yarn through this last loop, and this part here is done. This is the right side, so we have two buttonholes now here. Now, for this other side, you're going to do the exact same thing. I'm not going to show you. I'm just going to show you that you're going to begin here. This is the last chain right there, so just grab a loop here, bring it through the front, chain one, and into this same space here, make your first single crochet. And then work one single crochet, just like we did here on this side, so that you end with 17 single crochets for this side as well. Don't forget to also make sure to secure this fan here to the double crochets in the back. And then chain one, turn, and then repeat three more rows. So I'm not going to show you this part because it's exactly how we did here, minus the buttonhole row. So just continue and work these four rows and I'll meet you at the end of the fourth row. Okay, I finished making this other side. Now here at the end, all I did was just cut my yarn and pass my yarn through this last loop. Now we're going to put these two sides together like this. This side here is where we did the buttonhole, so it goes on top. Now insert your hook into this last stitch right here for this last row and for this side you're going to insert your hook into the first row here so into this stitch now grab a loop bring it through the front and chain three one two three now insert your hook again into this same stitch here and work a double crochet chain one and then two double crochets. We're going to make this fan here. Like this. Now, jump to this first fan for this side, 
and make a fan. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Now, do the same thing for these next four, one, two, three, four, and I'll meet you here to show you how we're going to divide the sleeve. Okay, I finished making these five fans, including this one that I did here, I have six fans. Now we're going to chain three, skip 10 fans, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and into this fan after the stitch marker, right here, make a fan like this. So two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Now, for this side, you're going to work 11 fans. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Then you're going to do the same thing that I just did here. You're going to chain three and you're going to skip one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten fans like this. And then into this fan, after the stitch marker, you're going to make a fan. Here, you're going to finish with these last four fans one, two, three, four. So I'll meet you at the end of this first row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these four fans. Now here I'm going to add one more. I'm going to insert my hook here into this first row for this side and into the last row here on this other side. Now we're going to make a fan here. So yarn over and make a double crochet. Double crochet again chain one, and then two double crochets. So this is going to be the last fan. If you count each one of these fans, you should have 11 for the back and 11 for the front. Now to finish, go on top of the third chain and join with a slip stitch. And this is how we finish the first row with 22 fans. Now for your next row, Go on top of the next double crochet and work a slip stitch inside the chain one space make a slip stitch chain three double crochet chain one two double crochets now here you're going to work a fan on top of each one of these fans down here under the sleeve we're going to make an increase so i'll meet you here to show you how we're going to do that Okay, I finished making these six fans now under the sleeve for this side and the other side. What you're going to do is two fans. Just insert your hook or you can pinch the first and the last chain to do these fans. So I'm just going to insert my hook like this and make two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Now again, we're going to make one more fan. So insert your hook and make two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Okay, here's the second fan. There's one and there's one. Now, into this first fan here, you're going to work a fan and into each one of them, like this, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, and then continue and work these 11 fans, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. And here under the sleeve, we're going to do the same thing we just did here, two fans, and finish with these last four, one, two, three, four, five, this, these last five. So I'll meet you at the end of this second row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row. I have a total of 26 fans. From here on, we're always going to have 26 fans at the end of every row. Now to finish this row and all the rows to follow, you're just going to pinch here the third chain like this with a, and then join with a slip stitch. Now on top of the next double crochet, make a slip stitch and inside the chain one space, make a slip stitch. Chain three, double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. You're just going to continue making these fans all around, including here under the sleeve, and then here again, and then finish this row. Then you're going to join here to the side with a slip stitch, then a slip stitch into the next double crochet, 
slip stitch inside the chain one space chain three and then repeat the same thing that i just did here at the end of every row like i said you're going to have 26 fans i'm not exactly sure how many rows i'm going to do but continue like this and i'll meet you at the end of this row okay i did a total of 13 rows if we count this row that we have of fans all around the, the yoke i have 14 rows 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14. now it's measuring from this first row that we did around the yoke up to the last one that i did it's about 17 centimeters which is about 6.75 inches now what we're going to do is we're going to work one more row here at the end i cut my yarn and pass my yarn through this last loop so with the color white we're going to go from the inside out like this and into this space right here where i joined with a slip stitch i'm going to insert my hook right here and chain two one two now what i'm going to do here is these two double crochets that are right in the center of this fan, this one, the second and the third, we're going to work into front post double crochets. Inside the chain one space, we're going to make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So beginning here, the second double crochet, work a front post double crochet. Inside the chain one space, make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and then front post double crochet, this third fan, this third double crochet, pardon. And again, the second double crochet, front post double crochet, double crochet, chain one, double crochet inside the chain one space, and a front post double crochet. Again, front post double crochet, double crochet, chain one, double crochet inside the chain one space, and front post double crochet. Continue like this for this row and I'll meet you here at the end Okay, I'm here at the end to finish this row. Just go here to the uh, First chain and join with a slip stitch now chain two On top of this chain one space make a single crochet three chains single crochet two chains single crochet between the two fans two chains single crochet again inside the chain one space three chains single crochet again two chains single crochet between the two fans this is how we're going to continue for this last row so continue and i'll meet you here at the end okay finish making this last row i did my last two chains then joined to the beginning with a slip stitch cut my yarn and this part here is done now this is what it looks like there it is now here i added this little flower these are pre-made flowers i just sewed it in there with uh, pink thread and in the back i added my buttons these little uh, pearl buttons these are seven millimeter uh, pearl buttons now i also went ahead and did one of the sleeves so now i'm going to show you how it's done i'm going to do it in the exact same way i did it here so we're going to go to this side now right in the middle we have these two fans so we're going to separate these uh, double crochets to the side so four and four right in the middle insert your hook grab this loop bring it through the front chain three one two three now into this same space here make a double crochet chain one two double crochets this is going to be the first fan to this first row now we're going to go to this space after this fan so right here and then right into this space where we have this fan i'm going to insert my hook so yarn over insert your hook into this space here grab a loop take two loops off yarn over insert your hook into this fan this fan has this the this fan here so right into that space right there insert your hook take two loops off three loops on the hook yarn over again and then insert your hook into this first fan grab a loop take two loops off four loops on the hook close okay this is what we just did right there now inside this first fan where i just closed all of these stitches make a double crochet chain one two double crochets 
Now jump to the next and do the same thing. Make a fan, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Continue like this around the sleeve and I'll meet you right about here to show you how we're going to finish this first row. Okay, I'm here at this other side. I'm about to finish my last fan. Here up to here, I have a total of 11 fans. Now, this last double crochet that I'm going to do to complete this fan, I'm not going to close it completely. I'm going to leave two loops on my hook. Now, yarn over, insert your hook into this fan, right there into this space, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, yarn over, then we're going to move this fan here and into this space between the fan and this here. We're going to insert a hook, grab a loop, take two loops off, four loops on the hook, close. We did the exact same thing we did here at the beginning. So now to finish this row, pinch the third chain here to the side and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish the first row with 11 fans. Now in the next row, we're going to reduce this fan and this last one that we did. So here, make a slip stitch into the second, into this next double crochet, inside the chain one space, a slip stitch, chain three, now a double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. Now, inside this chain one space of this fan, make a double crochet, jump to the next fan and work a fan. So here we just reduced one fan. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Continue like this around this sleeve. Here at the end, we're going to reduce this one here, so make a double crochet and then join here to the side. So I'll meet you at the end of this second row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row. Up to here, I have nine fans. Now to finish, I still have one more fan. So this fan here, we're just going to make one double crochet. And then to finish, we're just going to join here to the side with a slip stitch. And this is how we finish this, the second row with nine fans. From here on, we're not going to work any more reductions. We're always going to have nine fans. So for rows three through eight, you're going to do the following. You're going to make a slip stitch into the next double crochet, a slip stitch inside the chain one space, chain three, double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. This is the first fan to this third row. This is how you're going to begin each row. Now, inside each one of the fans around the sleeve, you're going to do the same thing. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. And then you're just going to continue around doing the same thing. When you're done, you're going to have nine fans. Then you're going to join here to the side with a slip stitch. Then for the next row, you're going to work a slip stitch into the next double crochet, a slip stitch inside the chain one space, chain three, and then do this fan like I did here. We're going to do this uh, up to row eight. So continue and I'll meet you at the end of the eighth row. Okay, finish the eighth row here. I just joined to the side with a slip stitch. Now for rows nine, 10, and 11, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make a slip stitch into the next double crochet, a slip stitch inside this chain one space. Now chain three and make three double crochets. Now for these three rows, we're only going to make four double crochets instead of two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. We're not going to do the chain one space anymore. So jump to the next one and work four double crochets. That's two, three, four. Jump to the next and do the same thing. Now, when you finish this row, same thing, you're going to join to the side with a slip stitch and work a slip stitch into the second double crochet and in the center between the second and the third double crochet. We're going to treat this as if there was a space, but we're not going to make the chain one space. And then you're going to chain three and then work three double crochets into the space. This is going to help reduce here at the end of the sleeve, which is what I did here for this these last three rows. One, two, three. You can see there that there is no chain one space. This one does have it, the, these three rows don't. So this is what we're going to do. Inside this same space there, right between the second and the third double crochet, you're going to do your fan on top. So continue like this for three rows 
and then I'll meet you at the end of the 11th row. Okay, I finished making these three rows where we did four double crochets and right in the center we did the fans. Now, in this next row, row 12, what we're going to do is I'm right in the middle of this fan here, so I'm going to chain three and I'm going to make two double crochets. In this row, we're going to make these fans uh, with three double crochets only. So jump to the next, right in the middle of the next and make three double crochets. This is going to be the last row so continue and I'll meet you at the end of this 12th row. Okay, finished making this last row. Here I cut my yarn, pass my yarn through this last loop. Now what we're going to do here is this. Uh, I did two rows of single crochets and then one row of crab stitch. So to do this, we're going to go here right in the center or you can go here on top of the uh, first double crochet. This is where we did the slip stitch. I'm just going to insert right my hook right here, right in the very center. I'm going to grab this loop, bring it through the front, chain one, and then into this same space here, make one single crochet like this. Now we're going to work one single crochet for each one of the double crochets all around like this. At the end of this row, you're going to join to the top of the first single crochet with a slip stitch then chain one and then repeat again one more row i'll meet you at the end of that second row to show you what we need to do next okay i'm here at the end of the second row of single crochets to finish go on top of the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch and this is how i finish the second row now we're going to do one more row and this is the crab stitch so to do this we're going to chain one we're going to go backwards so into the last single crochet that i did insert your hook grab a loop, close. Into the next, grab a loop, close. Insert your hook into the next, grab a loop, close. Insert your hook into the next, grab a loop, close. Insert your hook into the next, grab a loop, close. And this is all we're going to do all around. I'll meet you here at the end. Okay, I finished making this last row of crab stitch and this is what it looks like. Here at the end, all I did was just join to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through this last loop and our sleeve is done and this is what it looks like. So you're going to do the exact same thing I did here on this side, here on this other side. Everything is the same, nothing is different, so you're just going to do the exact same thing. So our little sweater or little tunic is done and this is what it looks like. So now I'm going to show you how to make the matching uh, bloomers. So continue watching and you'll see that next. Okay, to begin I'll be using this three millimeter crochet hook and today I'm using this double knit baby yarn. This is the brand of yarn that I'm using. It's called Super Soft Baby Double Knit, James C. Brett. Now, if you're in the US, you can use any number three yarn. Now, to begin, I have eight chains into the second chain from the hook. Insert your hook and make a single crochet. Single crochet into the next chain and so on. For this first row, this is all I'm going to do. One single crochet for each one of the chains. At the end of this first row, I'm going to have seven single crochets. If you want to make your waistband wider, you can add more chains. I'm just going to do eight chains here. Now, this is my last single crochet. I have seven single crochets. Now for the second row, turn. Now, this row is what you're going to repeat from here on. You're going to chain one and into the first single crochet through the back loop only make a single crochet single crochet again into the next single crochet into the next and so on always make sure to go through the back loop like this okay, this is the last one single crochet now for the third row turn chain one and repeat the same thing insert your hook through the back loop and make a single crochet this is all i'm going to do i'm not exactly sure how many rows i'm going to do but continue like this and i'll meet you at the end of this row Okay, I finished making the waistband. I did a total of 74 rows and it's measuring about 35 centimeters, which is about 13.75 inches. Make sure that when you measure, you don't stretch it uh, since I did not stretch mine when I measured it. Now here, what we're going to do is we're going to join both ends. So we're going to insert our hook right here into this first stitch on this side, grab this loop, bring it through the front, 
chain one, and then again, insert your hook through the same stitch and through the first single crochet here in the back, like this, grab a loop and make a slip stitch. Again, into the next stitch and into the next single crochet through the back and make a slip stitch. This is how we're going to join both ends, so continue and I'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished joining both ends, so now what we're going to do is we're going to work single crochets along the top. So here, we're going to chain one and into this first row right here, I'm going to make a single crochet. That's one into the next, that's two into the next, that's three single crochets and into the fourth row right here, I'm going to make two single crochets. We're going to work some increases here. So again, we're going to make three single crochets. One, two, three, and into the fourth, two single crochets. Continue like this and I'll meet you here at the end. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row. This is where we did single crochets all around. Now I have a total of 94 single crochets. Now to finish, go to the top of the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the second row, we're going to chain three and into this same stitch, the first single crochet, I'm going to make a double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. We're going to make these fans all around this second row. Now to make your next fan, you're going to skip one, two, three, and into the fourth single crochet, you're going to do your next fan. So two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Again, skip one, two, three, and into the fourth single crochet, another fan. Continue like this all around, and I'll meet you here at the end. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row of fans. I have a total of 24 fans. Now to finish this row and all the rows to follow, you're always going to pinch the third chain here to the side and we're going to join with a slip stitch. Now to begin each row from here on, you're going to make a slip stitch into the next double crochet and a slip stitch inside the chain one space. Now chain three, make a double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. Here's the first fan to the second row of fans. This is how you're going to begin every row from here on. Now, to make your next one, jump to the next fan and inside the chain one space, make two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Now, this is all we're going to do for this second row of fans. When you finish this row, you're going to insert your hook into the third chain, make a slip stitch, and then do the same thing that I just showed you to begin each row. Now, I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do from here on, but we're only going to repeat this row of fans, so continue, and I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, I did a total of 12 rows of fans. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 rows, and it's measuring. From the waistband to the last row, it's measuring, it's about 17 centimeters, which is about 6.75 inches. So now what we're going to do is we're going to divide the legs. So what I've done here is I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch. Uh, we have a total of 24 fans. So I have 10 fans for one of the legs, 10 fans for this other leg, and then right in the middle, I have two fans and then two fans right in the center of the front. So here this is where we finished we're going to make a slip stitch into the next double crochet a slip stitch inside the chain one space and here we're going to chain three and double crochet chain one two double crochets now we're going to skip 10 fans and we're going to go here to this fan after the stitch marker. This is fan number 11. So right inside, we're going to work a fan. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Jump to the next one and do the same thing. A fan, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Now skip 10 fans again, 
and into this fan after the stitch marker, make a fan. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Now to finish, we're going to join to the first fan right here with a slip stitch. So pinch the third chain and make a slip stitch. Now I've cut my yarn, so I'm just going to pass my yarn through this last loop. Make sure that when you cut your yarn, you leave a pretty long tail because we're going to be left with this gap here right in the center. So after we're done doing the legs, you can um, close this like this uh, with this remaining yarn. So now to do one of the legs, this side here. Now this is the second fan, here's the first one. So insert your hook here, grab a loop, bring it through the front chain three one two three now inside this fan make a fan so double crochet chain one two double crochets here you're just going to continue around this side and make ten fans I'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next Okay, I'm here at this other side. I have 10 fans up to here. Now between here and here, we're going to make three more fans. So to do the next one, we're going to go here into this same fan and we're going to do the next one. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Then right in the middle, right here, search your hook there and make the same thing. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. And then the next one, we're going to do it right here into the same fan. Okay, now to finish, we're going to join here to the side, right on top of the third chain with a slip stitch. Now we should have a total of 13 fans all around. Now for the second row, make a slip stitch into the next double crochet slip stitch inside the chain one space, chain three, and then two double crochets. Now here we're going to work a reduction. Now one thing before we continue, if you want to make pants, you can just continue and work fans all around and then just uh, continue until you have the length that you want your pants to be. Uh, here, since this is going to be um, like a bloomer, we're only going to do a couple more rows here. So this next row is going to be um, a row of reduction so that the part of the leg starts to reduce a bit. So inside each one of the fans, you're going to do three double crochets instead of your normal fan like this. So continue like this all around, and I'll meet you at the end of this second row. I'm here at the end of this second row now. I joined here to the side with a slip stitch. For the third row, we're going to chain one, and into this same stitch where I did the slip stitch, make a half double crochet. For this row, we're going to work half double crochets all around. So on top of each one of the double crochets, make one half double crochet. Continue like this, and I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, I'm here at the end. I finished this last row where we did half double crochets all around. Now, here to finish, I just joined to the side where we have the chain with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and pass my yarn through this last loop. Now, the next couple rows, I'm going to do it with this white color. So, insert your hook into the same space where you did the slip stitch, and then grab this loop, bring it through the front, chain one. Now, in this row, we're going to work front post and back post half double crochet. So beginning into this first half double crochet, work a front post half double crochet. Next one, back post, half double crochets. Next one, front post, half double crochets, and so on. Continue like this, alternating between a front post and a back post half double crochet all around. I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this row. Now to finish, just go here to the side and join with a slip stitch. Now for the next row, chain one and this first front post half double crochet, we're going to do the same thing, front post half double crochet. Next one, back post half double crochet. Next one, front post half double crochet and so on. Continue all around and I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, I finished this last row here. All I did was just join to the side with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through the last loop. And this part here is done. 
that's what it looks like now we're going to do the same thing we did here on this side I'm just going to start um, the first row for you all and then you're going to do the rest so insert your hook right here into this gap right there this is where we have this fan so into that same fan insert your hook and grab a loop same color bring it through the front chain three one two three and then make your first fan here so double crochet chain one two double crochets then right in the center right here we're going to do the next fan two double crochets chain one two double crochets and then right here into this same fan do the third fan so it's two double crochets chain one two double crochets and then from here on just continue all around just making fans now at the end of this first row you're going to have 13 fans just like we did on the other side when you finish this row you're going to join to the side right here with a slip stitch and then work a slip stitch slip stitch inside the chain one space three chains and then make two double crochets so it will be this row where we do the three double crochets and then the row of half double crochets continue do the rest and then i'll come back and show you our finished baby bloomers okay i finished making this last row here all i did was just join to the beginning with a slip stitch cut my yarn and pass my yarn through this last loop and it's done now here in the center all i did was just uh, tied like a little knot here right in the very center see right there and you can do the same you don't necessarily have to sew it that's that's all I did now through the center here it just weave this ribbon you can do the same thing so our little bloomers or diaper cover is done to match the little tunic sweater that I showed you this one here it's all done so now let me give you the measurements from the top of the neckline down to the end of the sleeve let's see it's measuring it's about 24 centimeters which is about nine and a half inches from under the sleeve to the end of the sleeve it's about let's see it's about 14 centimeters which is about five and a half inches from the top of the neckline down to the last row here it's about 27 centimeters which is about 10.25 inches and around the waist or just the top here it's about 21 centimeters which is about 8.25 inches so based on these measurements this little tunic uh, sweater with the matching little diaper cover is for a baby between zero and three months you can also make it smaller down here in the information box i'll leave you some information on how you can make it smaller for a newborn baby and bigger so be sure to check that out if you switch to a smaller hook size you will get the same end result but smaller so I'll just leave you that information down here in the information box okay so this little set is done this has been today's video I hope you like it this is what it looks like from the back I forgot to show you and this is the front so this was today's tutorial I hope you like it thank you so much for watching until next time